then now we are going to demonstrate how this level is going to work. So, as you can see, we use the left joystick to move our character around, and we use the right joystick to move the cameras. So there will be a cursor here. So as you can see, if we want to move the object, we just move it. When the cursor hit the object, and we can pick it up. Also, we can use our motion sensor to move it around in the camera. And uh, we can move it so that we can build a way. And then we can so go upstairs. Then, when we turn back, we can pick it up again. Okay. Let's go upstairs. So you see the exit of the first level. Put the board here. We want to. Now you can see this is a second level. Of course, we can use another way to manipulate the stuff other than just using our cursors, which is using your eyesight. Uh, so this way, when you're standing in a close range with the stuff, when you look at it, you can pick it up. And also you can rotate it. Um, well, th in this way will be easier to control it, but uh, it's very hard to pick up the long range stuff. When you combine these two methods together, then manipulate things in this 3D area will be easy. Now you can see we rotate it go to make another way for us. Okay, let's put it here again. Okay. You can see there's a collisions for the stuff. So when we hit the board with other uh, walls, they will try to bounce out from it. Okay. Crap. Now we're gonna use a cursor to select the board and take it back. As you can see, the cursor works very well when we're trying to pick something from a distance area and. Um, but when we're trying to manipulate it, we are trying to uh, stabilize the board in front of us, so we better use the eyesight manipulations. So, okay. now, let's go into the level three. 